So this is, this is going to be our, our gold nugget question of the week. Right? So this is from Vinod. Thoughts about charging this, you know, higher rates during the season of job loss, economy being down, and election craziness. All right, so Vinod, I, I love this question, right? So this is our, our gold nugget question of the week, which is really, I think what you're asking here, Vinod, is, you know, how do you increase your rates or expect to charge more money during a recession or during global economic uncertainty? We're not talking about Coca-Cola here. Right? We're not Pepsi, we're not McDonald's. Uh, now, there are certain industries that if you're serving that niche, they might be disproportionately hit, right? So if you were selling websites to real estate agents in 2007, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe you would have undergone some hardship. But here's the deal. In the year 2000, there was 300 million people on the internet, 300 million. During the economic boom that was the dot-com peak in our economy, 300 million people on the internet. 300 million people. Today, 2016, 16 years later, there's 3.2 billion and growing people connected on the internet. 300 million, 3.2 billion, right? Over a billion, a billion and a half of those folks are connected on one platform, Facebook. You can create ads to one and a half billion people we're all, most of the folks here have tiny, tiny businesses compared to the corporate mainstream. The people that are affected by economy, political strife, et cetera, are the big players, the folks that are playing in the big ocean, right? And the big ocean has these, these big trends that come through it. But most web pros aren't playing in the ocean, right? We're not playing, we're not competing against the economy. Right? Maybe Squarespace, Wix, or whatever, those companies, maybe they see that level of damage from economic slowdown. I was literally, my business was scaling up during the greatest recession of my lifetime. If you track my story of from 2000 to 2012, our business didn't actually start becoming profitable and great until 2007. And let me tell you something, it had nothing to do with the economy. Yes, there were businesses that we talked to that were affected, great. You're in, in the doldrums, move on. There are thousands and thousands of businesses out there that need everything that you do right now. And if you understand how to communicate that value to those businesses, they're willing to pay you a lot of money. Just because the economy has a 2% slowdown, it does not mean that self-employed web professionals are, are being wiped off the face of the earth. If anything, people are shifting their budgets from traditional media sources that aren't working, aren't trackable, aren't, uh, don't have metrics, you cannot you know, follow the money, they're moving that stuff to digital. They're going from brochures and billboards and TV to trackable internet stuff, right? The puck is moving right into your living room, right into the, the conference room of your business. That stuff is noise. If, you're, if your mindset in your business right now is becoming under attack because every morning you wake up and you check the news, the problem is not actually what's going on in the world. The problem is the habit that you have every morning you check the news, right? Get rid of that, get rid of that. It's, it, it really, there's always problems going on in the world. There's always elections going on in the world. There's always stuff going on in the world. Turn it off, focus on your business. Keep your mind in your business. That stuff is distractions. I promise you, you know, the, 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 some of the biggest companies of our time were founded at the, 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 the bottom of a recession. Google came out of 2000. They literally dot com crash Google Forms, right? Tons of companies, Microsoft, Apple, all these companies had critical inflection points during global economic problems or industry problems. So that all, all that is is an excuse, right? I, I can't succeed because there's a recession. No, you can't succeed because you don't have a marketing strategy and you don't have great mentors and you don't have a proven roadmap for success. That is a much bigger factor than who gets elected this year, I promise you. Great question, Vinod. I, I, am, I am passionate about that one because it's, it's such a mindset thing. 
And if you can overcome that and realize that, you know, there is so much opportunity. Most web professionals are not trying to get 500 clients this year. If you had 20 clients that were paying you 10K, 20K, that would be a landmark year for your business. We're not talking about thousands of customers here. We're talking about a dozen. We're talking about 15 clients. No matter what's going on in the world, I promise you there are 15 people that are ready to pay you, Vinod, a lot of money for what you do if you can just get out there with the right strategy and the right systems in place. They are there waiting for you. They are there waiting for you. I promise.